quarter to eight right now on your Tuesday morning. Take a look. Live shot of the stock market basically flat. Now, now down seven, now down eight, now down 14. I could do this all day. A lot of people keeping a very close eye on this, but you gotta, you gotta watch fast because it changes by the second. Yesterday, the Dow Jones had its biggest single day point drop in history. So experts are predicting that it's going to be up and down all day today as well. This is actually a time lapse of the markets throughout the day yesterday, just to give you an idea. I don't want to freak you out. I just want to give you an idea. The Dow Jones Industrial Average started off the day with a loss of more than 300 points and at one point actually plunged nearly 1,600 points down, finally ending the day down 1,175 points, a drop of 4.6%. So you're probably looking at your 401k, maybe on your app on your phone, and saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Stephen Stribling is here from Morgan Stanley. Oh, Stephen. Yes. W what should the reaction to this be? Um, I think the reaction should be um, some concern, slight concern, but to remain calm. I mean, these markets, they go up and down continuously. I mean, uh, when I first started in the business in October, we had the crash, and it was down 22% in one day. Yeah. Yesterday was four. And really, in reality, we just gave up all the gains we had in uh, January of this year. So we're kind of back, back to break even as of yesterday. Right. So uh, I'm going to take a couple of different scenarios to, just to get your advice here. Someone like myself, you know, I'm in my late 30s. I've got probably another 20 years if, if they don't fire me before then uh, in terms of working. So obviously I'm long term. I can ride this out. But, you know, you got someone like my dad. He's retiring this month. Uh, can, can, can somebody who's retiring who is about to pull out their 401k, can they, can they hold on that for another month? Well, I, th I think first, it, it all depends on, on the circumstances and what the 401ks are. But, you know, normally, and depending on the case, you can, you can hold on taking it out. You don't have to sell. There right. are a, a variety of different options. But I want to stress the first and most important thing is, even at your age and yeah. younger, is to have a plan. Sit down, have a plan. My partner always says, you know, plan your work, work your plan. <laughs> right. And if you stay with that and stay with the plan, don't get emotionally involved. Okay. Stay calm. Everything's going to work out in the long haul. Well, let's put some perspective, too, on this, because it is a single-day largest point drop ever. Percentage-wise, it's not the biggest ever, but it is still pretty big. But it's been such a good past year, year and a half, that really we're, we're, we're only back to, to like the end of December in terms of numbers, right? Correct. Yeah, that's correct. And if you think about it, if you look at last year, it was just about a straight up. Got it. So we're up 20 25 percent, depending on when you're at was this in the markets. Well, yeah, I think the market's extended. I think we think that, uh, that there's some uh, stretch valuations. Yeah. And so what you're doing is just having an adjustment back to the mean, adjustment back to what the normal right. uh, things are. But the good part about it is the economy's growing. Wages are increasing. We're seeing consumer sentiment is high. So, you know, the long haul, things look good. Okay, so what, what do you think over the course of maybe the next couple of days? Are we going to see more of this volatility going up and down? Well, nobody knows, but I, my, my experience says, yes, yeah. we are. Right. Um, uh, so my, my advice is to just sit back, relax, let okay. the market do what it does, pay attention to what, what you do best and what you're working and doing, and let the markets calm down before you invest. And, and one last question, too, because I always hear a lot of people say, well, this is an opportunity to buy because everything's on sale. Do you think we're at that point? You know, I don't know, but I, uh, my, as I said, I think I would sit back and stay calm, wait for it to just go down. stick on what you you're got. You're never going to catch the bottom, and yeah. you're never going to sell to top. It's kind of a game that a lot of people like to play, but it's impossible to win. It is impossible to win. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate your perspective. Thanks, Kurt. Helps us try to kind of digest this, understand this, Greg. I mean, you know, I mean, this, these markets are, are following the weather pattern this winter. I mean, just up and down and up and down. All over the place. Yeah, the good news is uh, I can time the